What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about battery, especially the lead acid battery, the flooded lead acid battery. And when they say battery uh, blast, that before I heard people saying battery blast and uh, it's a blast like explosion, uh, I was laughing, you know? I was, uh, you know, taking it as a joke. But uh, eventually it happens to me, to me. This battery blasted on me like explosion. You know, uh, it was, uh, it, the, the, you know, the blast was really uh, strong and uh, thanks God I didn't got injured. Uh, I, you know, I was uh, very lucky I didn't get injured uh, because I was very close to the battery. I was checking it and all of a sudden the battery just blast. First, uh, let me tell you the flooded lead acid battery. Never ever put flooded lead acid battery inside the house never ever charge the lead acid battery especially the flooded one charge it inside in a uh, unvented area or inside the house and always always if you're using lead acid battery don't use flooded lead acid battery use a gel type or uh agm never use flooded lead acid battery okay this is a this is a warning and uh this is not a joke uh this battery just blasted on me it was like a explosion uh, i wasn't see that coming i just exploded like a grenade you know and the entire room was a, a vapor the acid vapor and um and the, the floor was entirely covered with the acids and I, it was a mess it was a mess inside the house it was a mess so let me show you as you can see here and what i came to conclusion was that the lead acid battery makes uh hydrogen gas when they are uh charging during the charging uh it makes hydrogen gas and hydrogen gas is explosive it's a uh, very strong you know hydrogen gas is very very st stronger than nuclear power you know a nuclear explosion so this is the how the battery blast this is being you know shattered all the batteries shattered totally this cap just flew you know just was like uh you know flying out, like explosion you can see the backs has been shattered also you know all the, the casing the plastic has been all the corner here 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 acids was spilling everywhere okay okay this is all due to bad quality of the eventually uh, i came to the conclusion that the i made a mistake for number one i put the lead acid body inside the house number two there wasn't enough vent ventilation inside the house apparently number three i mixed it different type of batteries with this uh band i just mixed uh because i had i was sh a short one battery uh in the, it was 48 volt I, I had only three batteries like that one of them was dead so i put another type of battery this is battery 200 200 amp hour so i put another uh different capacity different size so eventually most of the uh voltage was going through the, those battery boil and make a lot of hydrogen gas inside uh, and just uh i don't know where the spark came from it just blasted like hell you know all the you know all the all the it just shattered you know and one piece just you know punctured the roof i was very close i was very lucky i didn't uh, got blind i was very close i don't know how god saved me i think i uh god saved me uh, that's uh all i can say battery blasted here okay uh and just look at the sky look at the ceiling okay see that one piece just punctured the roof i was very lucky i didn't got blind look at that the piece is still there it's just up there stuck in the ceiling another major uh pro cause for that blast was the due to material low quality of the material this is very low quality i can just crack it with my hand this type of battery uh this is very very low quality very cheap one even though it's very heavy the plates are very heavy and uh, this is a 210 amp hour and this is a low discharge and a c20 and uh, a 12 volt battery uh just blast uh, they it blasted on me pretty bad so uh so as you can see here it, it contained a one two three four five six cells each cell produced two volts so uh, and uh, as you can see here this is a tip positive this is guys 
and uh, this is the lead acid battery it's uh, made of six cells as you can see here one cell two cell three four five six cells each cell produces two volts and each cell is made of uh, plates positive plates and negative plates this is the positive you know this is positive this is negative this is positive this is negative positive negative and so on they all the cells are connected in series okay on this cell to a volt connected with this cell these are connected in series positive to negative positive to negative till it produces 12 volt okay and as you can see here the the plates it's made each cell made of plates positive plates and negative plates and the uh the negative plates are, are 11 plates and the positive plates are 10 plates they are shuffled inside each other most uh the chemical reaction happens uh, on the positive plates chemical reaction as you can see here let me take this cell out it's already uh i'm gonna take it out okay this is the cell this one is the cell one cell okay this is one cell okay so the as you can see here those are the plates one two three it's uh, the positive it's 10 plates and uh, the negative is 11 plates okay okay the negative one plate is more than the positive plates so most of the chemical reaction happens or as you can see those corroded one are uh positive plates the chemical reaction and the stress happens on the positive plates and the negative plates are perfectly fine okay so as you can see it's corroded you know you can break it with your finger but the negative plates are perfectly totally fine and uh, <clears throat> this is the how the chemical reaction works and this this each chamber each chamber has its own acid the acid of uh, for on this chamber should not mix with the acid of this chamber it's gonna because if they mix they're gonna uh, cause a short circuit and it will drain drain the battery so uh this is the one thing and this battery uh this is the structure that i told you and this battery is a very low quality battery as the structure i'm talking about the structure also the the the, the plates also they are very bad because uh this battery is a low discharge rate c20 which cannot be uh you cannot take a lot of amps out of it uh, over a short period of time okay this is designed for a long period of time a low amp amperage and low power over a low period of time this is a c20 i came to conclusion that battery explodes especially the lead uh, acid battery flooded lead acid battery explodes due to several factors number one the low quality of the uh, uh material material you know uh, uh, this battery is a very low quality the casing the plastic is very low quality and that's why uh it explodes and it has no you know it has no resistance to explosion to pressure number two uh, charging the battery uh indoor in the uh, weak vented area okay so never ever charge the battery indoor in an unvented area number three mixing different capacity of battery like uh if you have uh, a bank of four battery one of the battery is 100 amp hour the rest is 200 amp hour that's uh, gonna make problem for you okay so most of the voltage might go through the other one and the small one uh, a little bit of voltage go through it so make the other batteries boil and make hydrogen gas and in in the presence of the spark in a low uh, vented area it makes a explosion never ever buy uh, flooded lead acid battery uh, and especially put it inside the house i came to the conclusion that uh, i'll never ever use lead acid battery or gel type uh, again i'll switch to the lithium ion phosphate battery and because uh lithium ion phosphate battery uh, is more secure more power density and uh also it has a lot of uh, power in it uh you can charge it and discharge it in a, a shorter amount of time and like the lead acid battery you, you cannot charge it and discharge it in a short amount of time because it's restricted to c10 or c20 okay or otherwise the uh, other than lead acid battery is also very dangerous it explodes like like a, a grenade like a you know like an explosion you know it's very dangerous and it's a very uh, you will never ever uh, use it inside the house okay so that's my uh that's my tips and tricks for you and that's my advice and the warning never ever use inside the house 
and uh, try to switch to the lithium ion phosphate battery because it has a more cycle life and more power density and uh, higher and quicker charging and discharging time.